is two things about FO Studio that I didn't know and I wish I had known a lot sooner. The first one is normally to open up and close the browser on the side, which shifts all the windows over. So I don't like to have this open when I don't need it open is uh, Alt F8. That's normally what you do, but I've got it configured so I can just hit F8 directly. It's one of the very few shortcuts you can actually change. If you come over to settings and go into general, on input, there is a manage shortcuts. There's not a lot of controls in here, but one of them is to change the browser. So you've got your plugin picker, that's normally F8, and then Alt F8 is normally toggle browser. You're gonna use this way, way, way more. I recommend you change this. Even if you're new, just change this. Your life will be better. The, the browser, the plugin picker has way better ways to get to it. First, you can just right click anywhere there's a plus icon and it will open it up. So there's, you're not gonna use the keyboard shortcut. If you bring up the mixer and you go to a slot and you right click where you would add it anyways, it shows up. So I, I literally never use the keyboard shortcut. So I highly recommend changing that. The other one is a small one. It's one I won't use all that often but it's interesting to know about. If you right mouse click and then scroll your mouse wheel, it takes you through the tools at the top of the menu. So if I right mouse click and scroll, and this is a interesting way to navigate. This isn't one I find myself using a ton uh, because there is a much better option in my opinion, which is if you middle mouse click, whoops, sorry, I have a special touch and hold gestures thing on. If you middle mouse click and then click, it brings this menu up. And this is what's up here, but it's right wherever your mouse is at. This is super, super handy. So if I were in a, um, a piano roll, let me show you an example where I might use this. Um, so here I've got this, this part, all these instruments. This track's called Blue Eyes, by the way. If you look up Composing Gloves Blue Eyes, you'll, you'll find the track. So here I've got event data for the horn. This is the dynamics. And sometimes I wanna delete this stuff. It depends on what I'm controlling down here. There's a few ways to get to the delete tool. Uh, you can just hit the letter key D, but I don't like doing this. I don't know why. I just am not a big fan of it because you have to remember P to go back to pencil and this is like way over here. So your, your hand has to go all the way across the keyboard. Not that great. You could use that new trick I just showed you. Whoops, let's uh, not go on there right click and then scroll. And this is a pretty easy way to go back and forth. So this means that if I hit D, I can get there. And then instead of hitting P, I can just scroll back. Uh, but this requires me to be somewhat precise in my scrolling. So I like to use the middle mouse click menu. It's super fast. You can see exactly what you're doing. It's very, very precise. And you get access to all the additional shortcuts in the menu, which I think is a, a more powerful thing. Um, but I, um, I mean, I've come in here, you'll see this menu pop up all the time when I'm working because it's just super, super handy, but I had no idea you could do this. So maybe I'll find ways of adding this in, uh, but it's pretty interesting. What is your favorite way of navigating these menus? Do you use the hotkeys? Do you use modifiers? Do you combine tools, uh, in different ways? And what do you think of the F8 change for the browser? This honestly is huge for me. I hate it hitting the alt key because it's an enormous shortcut. You can't do it comfortably with one hand. It requires two, which means that now I got to leave the mouse. And so being able to do that is like so, so nice. Um, I can't believe I didn't know you could do this. Uh, <laughs> anyways, if you have any questions, feel free to let them uh, down below. If you're curious about a workflow thing, I try to make workflow videos on Sundays. Uh, subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos and have a blessed day.